Hey bosses, it's Nina. And today I'm going to show you how to upload an image and create a pin from scratch. So usually you create pins from going to websites and Pinterest and everywhere else, and then you pin it to Pinterest. But a lot of people that are generating a lot of traffic back to their site are actually pinning their own stuff or you create your own pin with a graphic and then you lead it to wherever you like. Let's jump in so I can show you. Now you can lead everyone anywhere you like. It can be to your website, to a freebie, to your video, to I don't know, whatever it is that you want to lead them to a quiz, your Facebook group. You can use this strategy to draw attention to wherever you like on the internet, as long as it has a URL. So let's jump in. I have a board here, by the way, this is a group board. So if you'd like to join, go ahead and find this board and then you can um, inbox me and I'll add you to it. I want to add a lot of entrepreneurs. Anyways, I'm going to start out with just posting something, telling people they can join the board. So I'm going to create a new pin. So I'm in my board. I'm just going to add a new pin. Now I'm going to add a title and actually I'm just going to say Pinterest group boards. Now let's say join. And then I'm going to paste up. Oh, that's not what I wanted to paste. Okay, so I pasted my, basically my invitation to join this group or group board. I want to add a URL. Now here's the key. Um, I'll show you separately or next what happens when you pin something from your website if you set up rich pins, um, which is something that you can do with Pinterest. If you want me to do a separate video, let me know below, comment um, and let me know that you wanna know more about rich pins. But anyways, I added my description, you add your URL, and in this case, I'm actually adding what's called a pretty link. And I'm just going to link back to this board. I think I called it group board. Okay, so here's my pretty link. I use this um, from with my website to lead to different places. In this case, if you go to socialinina.com slash group board, it will lead you to this Pinterest board. So I'm putting that in here. So if anyone clicks on here, it just basically leads them to the board. So if people pin and repin this. I want them to find my original board. Isn't that kind of cool? Okay. So this board is going to be my resources for small business owners. And then I'm going to upload my image. So you'll see that this isn't like the typical, like, oh, I have to be a certain size for Pinterest. I'm not worried about this now. I'll go ahead and create other pins with the same information. Um, for now, I'm just gonna do a quick pin. I did this in Canva. So I just went in there, chose a template and created it and filled it out in like 30 seconds. But basically this is a custom image and I can actually tag products on my images, which I don't think a lot of people know, but you can actually tag your products there. But I'm gonna go ahead, um, I'm not gonna, I wanna remove it because it's actually not a product, but I'll go ahead and save this to my Pinterest board. Okay, and now you'll see that it is a pin on my Pinterest board. Here is the information I put, there's the tags. So here's the pin. Let me just show you a couple things that I've done to increase the visibility of this board and also to try to get people to join this Pinterest board. So one, so of course I pin this here, join my Pinterest board. I also went to the top and I changed the photo. So it says, well, I didn't change it because there's no photo there. Um, it automated it where it's a join my Pinterest group board. So this will be something that I can download, add to my website, um, or share on social media to make sure other people can join. So I'm gonna download that now. The other thing I did is I went into my board and I changed, or I'm going to change the 
cover to join my Pinterest group board. And I posted it on Facebook as well as in my group and I'll start using it on Twitter, but let me show you something real quick from Pinterest. Let's go back here. When you are, let me see where it is. When you edit your board and you go down to invite, to invite people to your board, it will show you people that you can add, you can add their emails, but most importantly, there's a feature here once it pops up. Aha, this is weird. It only works when you click the plus up here, not from the board. So if you click on the plus here, you can actually copy an invitation link and you're also going to turn on this collaboration settings. People can request to collaborate on this board. But if I copy the link, this is actually the link that I replaced in um, Pretty Links so I can put that out, out on social media. Now, a couple things about this, and I know we're going away from creating your own boards and into groups, but a couple of things. This is an invitation. So if I'm posting on social media, that means anyone can get in here. For, but I'm going to keep an eye on it when I'm first building it, and then I'll change that link to just the board. Two, you're going to want to make sure that the people that you accept are actually posting what they need to post. So I put some rules here. You want to watch the board. You don't want to just let it go and let everything um, people post everything. When it's when it's small, it should be fine. But after it starts growing, you're going to want to create a strategy to maintain that. Anyway, think of it like a Facebook group. Anyways, let's um, wrap this up with just a couple of things. I'll create a separate video showing you how to create custom Pinterest boards. I haven't done it yet because I'm trying to figure out what style I want. And I'm redoing um, a lot of my branding for 2019. And I haven't really landed on exactly what I'm going to do um, for Pinterest and all around with certain social media stuff. Once I figure that out, I'll go ahead and create some Pinterest boards and custom Pinterest boards. I'll show you what it looks like. So if I click on boards, you'll see that this one clearly says join my Pinterest group. This one, you can't really tell what's going on. So you're going to want each of your boards to be pretty succinct with your branding and tell people what each of the boards um, mean or what it's about or what resources they can find. Basically like Pinterest where you create a theme and then it shows up here looking all pretty. All right. Thank you so much for joining me. Check out my other videos in this series all on Pinterest. Keep in mind that I love engagement. I love questions. And if you subscribe and ring the bell, then you'll get notifications. All right, ciao for now.